time for our final game here on day three of the 2022 Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championships. Pool B, South Australia, taking on the Northern Territory. Two sides without victory in this tournament so far. Northern Territory did push the Rubies yesterday in that game. 22-12. They were defeated. South Australia having a harder time against New South Wales country, but this one certainly will be competitive, relatively evenly matched. And two 20-minute periods to end things. And what has been a pretty entertaining day three. We have confirmed our under-19 finalists and our open women's finalists for tomorrow. So that open age final from 11 a.m. New South Wales country will take on Western Australia and then the under-19 national final will be New South Wales City with the Queensland Rubies who you just saw prevail over country. Jam-packed day of rugby league. There's more to come tomorrow. You'll see it all here live on NRL.com. Off and running for our final game, South Australia and the Northern Territory. South Australia in the wide and well and truly off and running off the kick off of Fiki. Has them out over the 40. Strong contact from the NT. They were the story of yesterday. Pushing the Rubies all the way. Gave them quite the scare. There's Polly. A strong tackle. He's looking here for. He's been. A standout for South Australia with her carries. Multiple times a set. She will charge it forward. O'Brien. Fights to the 30. Impressive opening set from South Australia. Can they provide the end result? Afiki, is that a knock on? She'll get it back here. Here's a chance. They'll get six more. Afiki's going to do it herself. Can she get under the post? Has she got it down? They like it. Referee likes it. Francis Afiki has the opening try. And what reward that is for South Australia. Their first points of the tournament. And it's Francis Afiki capitalising on her own kick. Followed it up. And then wrong footing. Second toga. And despite their best efforts, they can't keep them out. And South Australia will have the opening try. See what it means to them. It was a difficult day yesterday. 46 0 they went down to New South Wales country. They have their first try. They've only had to wait two minutes. Conversion waved away, so the lead remains just a single try. From the kickoff, they have come out firing, and on their first set, they have a try. And neither team has won a game so far this tournament. Non Territory were expected to win this one given the scare they provided the rubies but not for the first time this tournament not going to script early on need to ensure they complete the set this time Carpani plays it go here for 
Good carry once again. Anthony. Tashara Wilson. Now Polly turns it inboard. Victoria Johns plays it. Nafiki, a uh, try scorer. Ball to Sister Jane Nafiki, and she'll play it on the last hit. What are they here for? They get expensive, South Australia. Anthony, wide to Carpani. Still the last, still they promote it. Looked a little forward. And it's called back for exactly that. Can't fault the confidence of South Australia, and I'm sure that opening try is what's promoting it. Northern Territory also a side that love to throw it around. El Coate. Genders who will play it. Need to see the likes of Sekatoga get on the board. They'll get a penalty here. We saw the brilliance of Abigail Sekatoga yesterday. Good carry here from Okawate, and she's going to do it all alone. She doesn't have any support. The line up to the left now. South Australia starting to scramble. It's end to end all of a sudden. A little scrappy. It's come off the knees, so won't be a knock on. Sanga wanted it. They went the other side to Bari. And they'll play the short side. She'll palm off a couple. She might do it herself here. Bari, has she got it down? I think you'll find she has. Just too strong. And Bari answers back for the Northern Territory. Have a look at this surge from Bari, just swatting them away. And then, Try to Northern Territory, number despite 11, the best efforts Bari. of Sophie McClure, she could not stop Bari. So we're level. And Northern Territory will have a chance to find the lead. Second toga to take. The connection. The flags are up, so Northern Territory have the lead. Second toga converts. So we're underway again. You're just joining us, our final game of day three. Under 19 action in Pool B, South Australia and the Northern Territory from the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championships. Is that a knock on? It is, we'll come back and have a scrum and some good field position for South Australia. If you've missed the action today, our under 19 final Participants confirm New South Wales City 40 nil winners over the Queensland Sapphires. They'll play the Queensland Rubies, the defending champs. They prevailed 22 points to four to country in the game before this. In our open women's final, New South Wales country will take on Western Australia. Western Australia, the defending champions in that division. We'll see that all tomorrow live here on NRL.com. And those two finals also live on KO Sports. We'll bring it all to you. Up, 
Here's Carpani to play it. South Australia. Last time they were up here, they came back with points. Plowman. Wind out to the right. Bridge will slot into dummy half. I'll go to the left, though, instead through Wilson. Did have Anthony off her shoulder, but decided just to take the tackle, and still she fights. Plowman, a little sloppy. If I hit for went without it. Now Polly. Strong defensive work from the NT though. This game well and truly in the balance. South Australia hanging in there. Anthony just going to switch perspective and put it in the air. It's a test. They let it bounce. It may work its way out for South Australia. It beats everyone out over the sideline. Should be Northern Territory. And it will be with the turnover. Strong crowd in today in what is beautiful conditions here on the Gold Coast. And if you're thinking about coming down tomorrow, free entry for the family. So I can only encourage you to do so. And if you can't make it down, make sure you find somewhere comfy on the couch and tune into either NRL.com or KO Sports tomorrow. Adam Santorossa here with you. I'll bring you all the action live for those finals and if it's anything like we've seen in these first three days certainly some rugby league not to miss Done some strong defensive work in this half plowman's a little slow in back plate she gets up limping for south australia hopefully she's okay nikki that's Bari in support. Sekitoga as well. We know she can come up with something special. How about the flick out the back? Bari, the try scorer last time. Still they promote it. The Northern Territory, a bit of razzle-dazzle. Nine minutes remain. Six points to four. Northern Territory lead. Bari gets another touch in this set. South Australia starting to fall off their assignments. Last tackle now. Hold. Hold, that a knock on at dummy half. It is, and Sayanga shaped to kick, but it'll be a changeover. This one would be competitive. We knew it would be tense. It's certainly shaking out that way. Just need to stay error free. They don't want to have to contend with another set here defensively. Anthony turns it in poor to Carpani. A rampaging run again. Swats away a couple of would be tacklers. Here's Anthony. They go to the short side. Natadra bumps off a couple. Anthony fighting towards halfway. Service cutting out Ikahahifo. Physical work going into these tackles from the Northern Territory. Making them earn every metre at South Australia. McClure, nice footwork at the line. Did that come out? Illegally, no, says referee. Slow to play it is. It's a bando. So closing in on half time in our final game here in Pool B. Ninth game of day three. South Australia hanging in, but you just feel Northern Territory trying to find that second gear. Fitzgerald takes it to the line. Sikatoga getting involved as well. Flirting with the sideline, in fact, going over it. It's another defensive assignment passed by South Australia.
Six and a half minutes remain. I hope you're enjoying this wherever you're watching. Going global on NRL.com. Plenty of friends and family, I'm sure, watching in the respective states. And that's a knock on. Not what they needed. Withstanding the pressure well of the NT, but they're back under pressure now. You sense a bit of fatigue perhaps starting to creep in. This will determine third place in the group. They tomorrow, take on third place in Pool A. is Western Australia so there's a chance for the winner there's a chance here for Northern Territory to find more points Hills pull down 12 out from the line Q to the right Sekatoga wants involvement Bari was the feature She's swatting them away again. Can she get that right arm free? She does. T Young will play it. They are two out from the line. Siyanga wants it. Bari wants another try. Still there on the right for the Northern Territory. Siyanga has it. Turns it inboard. Sekitoga going to be hard to stop from here. Somehow they manage it. Last tackle. Sayanga will put it in the air. They fly. NT with it. And it'll be a penalty. They got over the line in the end. Like a Kavu, but they were all in front of the kicker. So South Australia survive again. And credit the defensive work they're doing. So inside the final... Four minutes. Intriguing stuff in this one. and Evenly poised, as we expected going in. Don't need to make errors as South Australia chance their arm down the short side. I'll say the pass was forward. Expansive stuff between Carpani Ernella Christie, but the pass from Carpani to Christie is judged forward, and they'll turn the set over. Here it is. Great work, the big right arm fend, and well, Touchy was right there. Does give a full set to the Northern Territories. Had a knock on at the scrum base, and. Maybe some fortune for South Australia because, as we saw on the replay, very line ball, that forward pass. So We'll have a scrum, and this time South Australia will feed it. Two minutes and 40 seconds. South Australia... Have waited a while for points. They scored in their first set of the game. They've been doing defensive work more or less ever since. But we know the attack that they possess. You go here, here for so important of what they do. And she makes half a break. There were two in the tackle, surely. Will be a penalty. So can they... Find some points before half time and take the lead again. Find their touch. Tucked by McClure. Natadra. Here's Anthony, first receiver. Puts it through the hands. They aren't afraid to chance their arm, but when they do so, they can come up with an error. Been a 
fairly free flowing first half. And I think both sides will be happy to go into half time and just catch their breath. We go to the final minutes. And the other 19s. Northern Territory with a two point lead. South Australia will be happy with what they've done in these first 20. Not done just yet. He's Bari. Another strong charge from her. It's her try that has the NT in front. Fitzgerald, they sit off South Australia. The line speed starting to slow a little. Obviously, fatigue a factor. Bari again. She's going to take it on her own. Sekitoga slices through the middle. Well, she carves them up. And she adds another try. Bari's work. Put it on a platter for Sekitoga. And she just races away. Slices through the middle. And the Northern Territory will find a second try. And that's exactly what South Australia didn't want. They've been hanging in there. Given the defensive work they've been asked to do. But this time, Bari, her second touch of the set. Drew the defence, Sekitoga straight through and just too much pace as she races away to go under the posts. And 10 points to 4 should be 12-4 at half time. And two of their stars, Bari and Sekitoga, they have a try each. She impressed this tournament, the number one for the Northern Territory. <laughs> so conversion successful. And that is half time. Northern Territory will take an eight point lead to the break. An entertaining first 20. South Australia hanging in, but that try will hurt given the work they've done. Half time, World Territory 12, South Australia 4. Yes, welcome back to Bob Sing Oval, our final game here. Game 9 on day 3 of the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championships. A Pool B clash between South Australia and the Northern Territory, and a try literally on half time for the Northern Territory. Has seen them extend the lead. Four to eight points. It was Sekitoga who scored it. Will be South Australia to restart. They scored early on in the first. It was defence largely from there. As Afiki comes into a strong carry of Bari. She's been one of their best, the NT. So too Sekitoga. Those two are the try scorers for them. Credit South Australia though, they hung in the contest and if not for that try, it would have been just two points splitting them. Bit of luck going against them late as well. Important 20 minutes to come. So young up, wide. The NT had room to move, but have they knocked it on? They have in fact. Winner of this will finish third in Pool B. Take on third place in Pool A tomorrow. That's Western Australia. The loser will play Victoria. Of course, we've confirmed our open age final and our under 19 final. New South Wales Country and WA to play in the Opens final and the under 19s, it will be. Defending champs, the Queensland Rubies and New South Wales City. See both of those live here on NRL.com as well as KO Sports tomorrow. Our live coverage begins at 9. Those finals at 11 and 12.15 tomorrow. As I said, also live on KO Sports. Adam Sanderosa here with you. I'll bring it all to you again tomorrow on what has been four days of jam-packed women's rugby league. I don't know, Nika here, here for, I think it caught the arm of her. Unlucky for South Australia. They'll hand possession back in the Northern Territory. And 
Another beautiful afternoon here on the Gold Coast. We've been treated well when it comes to weather. If you are thinking of coming down tomorrow, bring friends and family because it's free entry for all. We are going to see some blockbusters and we're going to crown some national champs as well. It's why we're here. Northern Territory. Begin their set. Marching forward. Fitzgerald to dummy half. Sayunga. Strong carry. From Nikki again. I like the impact of the back row for the NC. Both Nikki and Bari. Here's Nikki. Another touch in the set. Has players to her right. Going on her own and just swatting them away. She may even score the try if she can get there. Powering over the try line. How's that from Ellie Nikki? And Northern Territory will extend the lead again. Well, she had players outside of her, and she didn't need them. Retreating defence just swatted them away. And then the footwork to beat the fullback. Bridge. And the Northern Territory find their third try. Seki Toga should make it three from three. The lead will go out to 18 points to four. little time Sekitoga and raises the flag so lead extends to 14 points oh look at that try and the individual brilliance of Ellie Nikki I just finished saying both she and Bari off Sean today Sekitoga another to watch no surprise they are the three try scorers for the NT the South Australia restart us again just over 15 minutes remaining in this one our final game for the afternoon day three the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championship both looking for their first win of this tournament and spilt by Eve Genditz. The Northern Territory try was scored by number 12, Alisa Nikki, and converted by number one, Abigail Sekitoga. Has presented a chance to South Australia to begin their set on the 40 metre line. Fiki with it at the base of the scrum. Christy. Play at 30 out from the line. Anthony into dummy half. Goes on a scooter or a good dummy and out over the 20. Good metres already on this set. Likewise from Grace Bridge. She will play at 8 out. Lined up to the right. Ika Hihifo. Take it up herself. Change it to the left now. Cue to the left. We've got to play it down in back play. It's Anthony, but South Australia is still going. Dumasi it is. He cannot get any closer. And they're going to say she's lost control. Trying to ground it. It's Tarpani, in fact. So, pats on the back to the NT. There is concern in back play for Zane Anthony after that run. And some NC players needing treatment as well, so 
Some tired bodies out there. It's been physical work. Eve Genders, the player down in goal. Chance to remind you too of those games tomorrow. Open age playoff for fifth versus sixth. Northern Territory will play the ADF at nine o'clock on the Burley Junior Fields. The First Nations Gems will play Victoria at third versus fourth. And then our open age final, 11 a.m. See it live both here on NRL.com and also KO Sports, New South Wales Country versus Western Australia. WA wanting to defend their crown. They won it last year in Golden Point to the First Nations Gems. Hoping for a similarly close final this year. And then following that one at 12.15, again live on NRL.com and KO Sports, New South Wales City and the Queensland Rubies. New South Wales City could not have looked slicker today. 40-0 they beat the Queensland Sapphires. Oh, the Rubies... 22 4 they prevailed over New South Wales country. So a mouthwatering clash there. We have seen some great rugby league on show across the last three days, and I'm sure it will go to another level tomorrow when championships are on the line. So work out from their own end. Sayunga. Hills has it for NT. So I'm going to dummy half. It was a bullet pass. Finding its way to Akakavu. Nikki plays ball play. Now, Akawate. Still they throw the footy around. Eventually it's Fitzgerald who'll play it. Nikki again, racking up the touches and proving hard to handle. She goes over halfway. Just over 12 minutes remaining. Northern Territory doing this one. They wouldn't roll away and allow her to play it, so it's a penalty. Another set to Northern Territory and some more pressure. To withstand, and they're slow getting back. Nikki's off float. First tackle that wasn't needed in South Australia, going to get the ball back. Sloppy from NT. South Australia let off the hook. So Anthony has it at the base of the scrum for South Australia. It was she receiving attention? From the trainer just a moment ago, so good to see you back out there. Vicky was swamped. It's the defence starting to aim up for the Northern Territory. Don't want to let South Australia back into this contest. Still time for them to do that. 11 minutes remaining. Anthony takes it to the line. One of the highlights for South Australia in their campaign so far. She'll get a penalty here too. She tried to play it quickly. She'll tap again. If Anthony was a standout, so too is Ika Hihifo. Plays this one. And they charge forward in search of more points and a search of a way back into this game. Without a win. Both of these sides. Anthony spreads it long. Fitzgerald with a good tackle. Bridget dummy half. They swing it to the right. Afiki. Not reading from the same script. And Ella Christie has to backtrack and recover it. Bridge goes for a scoot out of dummy half. Beats the first tackler and the second. Fights away. 20 out from the line. Last tackle now. Fiki. It's a kick forward. Nikki plucks it out of the air. Doing everything today. Has one try. Looked to offload, but South Australia got across and snuffed out the danger for now. 
tired players out there. It's been played at a fairly frenetic pace. As Sekitoga, certainly one that can expose some defensive frailties. We're out over halfway already. Nukawate brushes off a couple. Good charge forward. Do have a player down, Plowman it is, needing some treatment. So we will just come to a halt and hopefully... This isn't anything serious. A chance to look back on the results we've seen today, of course. This is our ninth game across the afternoon. We started at 9.30 this morning. It was Western Australia who eliminated Victoria in the Open Women's with a 4-0 win and then followed that up with a similar 4-0 win over the Northern Territory. And then the ADF, they surprised the NT. Three tries in a 12-0 win, their first of the tournament, their first points as well. Great performance from them. New South Wales country, will they secure a top spot? in the Open women's with back-to-back -back win 16-0. They defeated the ADF and then a 4-0 win over the First Nations Gems, which eliminated the Gems, who made the final last year. That set up Western Australia and New South Wales country. New South Wales country finishing on 10 points in top spot. Western Australia in nine. They'll, of course, meet in the final tomorrow. And our under-19 section, the Sapphires. New South Wales City just far too good for them, 40-0. In that game, City securing top spot in Pool A. And then Western Australia defeating Victoria, 18 points to four. And then in Pool B, the Queensland Rubies, too good for New South Wales country, 22 points to four. So it has been decided that we will finish the final game there with eight minutes remaining just due to an injury that occurred to a South Australian player that is requiring some medical attention. Out there on the field, Northern Territory, We'll take it 18 points to four. And that does mean they finish third in the pool. And they'll take on WA in our first game tomorrow morning. And what is a jam-packed schedule of finals, of course. It all starts at 9 a.m., that game, Western Australia and the Northern Territory. The third versus in pool A versus third versus pool B. Then the Queensland Sapphires and New South Wales Country, which will be a cracking game as well. That's at 10 a.m. And then our two finals... 11 a.m. the Open Age National Final. The New South Wales Country take on Western Australia. Western Australia, the defending champions in the Open Age women. That's from 11 a.m. You'll see it live on both NRL.com and KO Sports. And then our Under-18 National Final from 12.15 tomorrow, also live on NRL.com and KO Sports. New South Wales City, the Queensland Rubies. Adam Santorossi here with you. I'll be back tomorrow to bring it all to you along with the rest of the commentary team. Looking forward to a jam-packed day where we crown our open-age national women's champions and under-19 national champions as well. Day four from the Harvey Norman NRL Women's Championships. It's set to be spectacular. Can't wait to bring it all to you. Thank you for your company today. We'll see you tomorrow.